had this article sent to me yesterday. I thought it'd make for a good video because it's, of course, touching back on everyone's favorite fan base in the Star Wars community called Raylos. What are Raylos? Well, let me break that down for you real quick. In case you don't know, I've covered this subject before, but you might not know what these types of fans are. Raylos are shippers. What are shippers? Okay, so basically, these are people that are fans, supposedly, of a series or a comic or a movie or whatever, video game, it doesn't matter. And what they do is they'll take two characters that aren't in a romantic relationship and they'll draw them together, sometimes in very, very obscene ways, or they'll write fan fiction, stuff like that. A lot of the time, it's uh, pretty harmless. But then you have the very, very dedicated ones, and they get quite deranged. Most notably, Raylos, as what they're called in the Star Wars community, is because they hook up Ben Solo and Ray Palpatine, or refuse to call her Ray Skywalker. They hook them up in a romantic relationship, and they take it too far. Adam Driver has talked about this in a lot of ways. They, he's had them come up and give him strange gifts. They've attacked his wife because they want him and Daisy Ridley to hook up in real life. Uh, these people are, are sick. They're very sick. When uh, <laughs> I've done all kinds of videos on some of the stuff these people have said. Uh, after the Star Wars movies ended, or the sequel trilogy ended, uh, they weren't satisfied because, remember, Ben Solo, spoiler alert, dies in The Rise of Skywalker, so they didn't really get to be together. This drove Raylos insane, who wanted their final dream of the two actors being together. And they started to go after his wife and called her all kinds of derogatory names and were like, you don't need to be with him. He deserves better. It was really disgusting. And now Daisy Ridley is jumping in and letting us know uh, she's afraid that these Star Wars fans are going to turn up at her home. Oh, no, wait. I missed said that. So they're already turning up at her home. And it's funny. They just say Star Wars fans. It's not Star Wars fans. It's Ray Lopes. Now, what's really funny about this is that the media has gone out of their way to protect Ray Lopes. I remember when all this stuff was going down, all right, the media was writing all of these articles about how toxic fans that don't like The Last Jedi or this and that, they never called out Ray Lopes. Amongst a plethora of evidence, too, by the way, uh, I've done videos showcasing their tweets and the nasty things that they'll say and do. Not one outlet talked about it. They just talked about toxic Star Wars men, but they never touched the Raylos. Disney wanted this audience, this audience of weirdos, and they got them. And uh, now the stars of those movies have to deal with them. Nobody has to deal with it like Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver, though. I want to be clear on that. So they've ignored them. They love Raylos. They love shippers because a lot of the people that write articles for these fan sites and these nerd sites are shippers themselves, and uh, they see a, camar a camaraderie with these people. So let's take a look. It's not very long. Daisy Ridley has been scared, has been left scared by Star Wars fans turning up at her house. The 20-year-old actress became a household name when she was cast as Rey in the most recent Star Wars trilogy. And though she had the best time making the movies, she admitted such a high-profile role brought with it a lot of unwanted attention. She told Tatter Magazine, Star Wars was this thing, and then it was this thing that came to an end. It hasn't always been easy. There are things about being in Star Wars I don't like talking about because it's not the good side. People turn up at your doorstep. That's crazy. And I've been followed. That's a bit whoa. But in terms of the actual experience, I had the best time. And now I'm out of it. I feel like I want to work really hard and honor the decision of the people that cast me. And the star admitted that she was always she will always be baffled as why she was chosen for the role. She said, I just think there will always be a question. Why was it me? And that will always be there. Why me? But Ridley has reached a point where she needs to stop questioning her success and just accept her luck was in. She added, I know there are a thousand other actresses who could have done it. I guess ultimately 
it came to a point where I decided I have to be okay with this. So they don't touch on it too much, but let's be clear. (laughs) The only Star Wars, and I say this with hand quotations, that are showing up at this woman's house are Raylos. The only people that are following her in a really creepy manner are Raylos. Those people do all kinds of nasty things. They've showed up on sets. Like one gave like uh, Adam Driver like a wooden figure designed like him and stuff. Like they're very, very creepy. And I would be willing to bet money that all these people bothering her are Raylos because they're the most obsessed. They thought, okay, well, Ben Solo's dead. Let's hook up Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver. It's It's disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, Daisy, really. She doesn't deserve this. I'm. It's, you can say what you want about the sequel trilogy. They're not good movies. But uh, I have nothing against her or what she does. It's not her fault the movies were terrible. She doesn't deserve to be like followed and having weird people show up at her house. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.